Hi friends, I am Jitendra Bafna. Today we will going to see a polling scope and the watermark with a mule swap. So what is the need of a polling scope? So basically when you want to you know like uh, fetch the data after some after some interval of the time like say example after 10 seconds I have to fetch some data from the database and I have to send back to the uh, to some CRM or SaaS application like salesforce.com. Fine. So we can use the polling scope but what are the other advantage of polling scope so polling scope also provides something concept called watermark you can enable the watermark so why we want to enable the watermark because when you want to pick only the newly added record in the database and you have to synchronize only newly added record in the database with salesforce so you have to use the watermark so i will be going to show you the polling scope as well as well as how to enable a watermark let we will start with one small application we will create one new new project i will say poll scope test okay uh, the runtime will be 3.8.3 in my case uh, okay rest of the team i will keep as default i will select on the finish fine first thing i will look for pool scope i will drag and drop pool scope into the canvas region then i will look for database connector i will go into drag and drop database connector into the pool region fine okay. i will change the frequency to at least 20 uh, instead of 1 millisecond i will send it to 20 milliseconds now we will going to start config uh, configure data before that I will show you what we are going to do today so this is this is my account available okay fine so we will going to face these records and we will add some records and we will see like whether we can fetch the record or not. So let me go back to my AnyPoint Studio. L let me do the connector configuration. Today we will going to connect Microsoft SQL Server. Fine. So for that I have to use the generic database configuration. I will say OK. Now I have to provide the URL. So my uh, database URL, JDBC URL is this. OK, you can see like it's a server name, port number, database name, and username and password. I will paste it uh, in AnyPoint Studio URL region then other thing i have to provide the driver name okay so what i can i have to provide the driver name okay if you click on test connection it will not work you can see like error so for, we have to add one jar file okay no 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 let's, uh, wait. So let me press on okay uh, we can do add jar file from here right add click uh, right right click add uh, go to build path configure build path go to libraries external jars then go to uh, look for external jar wherever it's located in our system so in my case uh, let me check yeah this is my jar file sql jdbc 4.jar fine okay i will say okay then i will go back to the my database configuration i will edit it i will say test connection if everything is fine okay see it gave the test connection successful in a millisecond okay please okay so it was saying select uh we have to select the operation select okay and let me copy the query i will paste it here i will say save i will use file connector okay let me create one output folder folder i will say out finish i will configure path here i will say just okay now what happened so whenever database is done the output that is in the form of object so we have to convert that uh, object into some json or xml format so i will use object to the i will use object to the json format i also can use object to the xml i will use object to the xml okay now save it run the application yes
your application has been deployed now it's, it already start fetching the record see it already created one file i will say refresh so you can see one file has been created so you can see the record like uh, see now all the things okay after 20 seconds it will fetch the duplicate data see it has placed the duplicate data fine so now I, ha I have to only face the unique records not a duplicate record so for that what we have to do uh, we have to enable the watermark i will stop the application and i what i will do instead of object to just xml i will use object to json json looks much better okay for enabling the watermark first thing we have to you know when you want to enable the watermark the first thing what you have to do click on the flow go to the flow property and processing strategy change to synchronous it could be synchronous otherwise watermark will not work so now go to poll now go to the enable watermark so what is should be a variable i will say max account id what to the default expression you should have to give a default value in my case i will give my uh, default expression zero like uh, i will say uh, my default max account id value equals to zero initial value to zero then you can use the selector so there is a selector i will say max and you have to provide the expression so what i can do i say payload dot id fine i'll provide this so what what does this means so it, what it will do so every time what happens so you are getting a lot of record right so like we have one field called id so it will pick the max id from those record fine and it will store in this flow variable max account id now what we have to do we have to go to the database in database we can say where so let me find out the field name my field name is id where id greater than i will say has flow vars dot it will say max account id right let me remove all the file from the output folder i will delete i will delete okay i will add some two or three new record uh, let me create some record it has already some records uh, for Now let me select how many records are there and what is the max value. These are nine record and the max ID will be nine. Okay, so let me start the application. We will we'll see. Okay, application has been deployed. It has already exported the file. See. Uh, you can see that all the nine record account has been fetched. The last ID is nine. Now I'll quickly add these two records. Okay, let me select start from this. Not 10, 11. It should have picked the other records also. Let me refresh. Second file has been created. Okay, in this you can see like only two record has been added. See, let's start from. 10 and id is 11 only 10 now i will add one more okay let's wait let's refresh let me find out the file okay not that one this is the file it has picked only one record which has a id 12 okay so now you know like uh, how to use the polling scope and how you can use the enable watermark and what is the use of enable watermark so basically you know like enable 
when you need to use the enable watermark when you want to synchronize the two systems for example your database and the sales force for example sap system and the civil system right? so you can use the watermark with the polling score okay thanks for watching video